Before anything else, we need to plug in the controller through USB to the computer. First thing to do is check the architecture of your computer. So go into File Explorer, right click Computer, and hit Properties. Now I'm running a 64-bit computer, so I can close this. And all the links are provided in the description. So we're going to need the Xbox 360 driver for 64-bit since I'm running 64-bit. Windows 7. I'm actually running Windows 8, but Windows 7 will work. So open it up and do the normal installation process. Let that go for a second. We can close that. And now I'm going to download X Input Wrapper. Now you will need 7-zip to open this. So if you do not already have this, go ahead and download that. Now you can open the folder you just downloaded for X Input Wrapper. I'm going to put this on the side. Open it up, open the bin folder. Now I'm going to make another folder in the C drive where I'm going to install it in the program files. So I'm gonna make a new folder called X input wrapper and open it up. Drag all the contents of the bin folder into the new folder you just made and do this for all current items and continue. Now open up SCP driver which is the application file type. Open it up, force install. Now I'm not gonna be connecting with Bluetooth. I'm gonna be uh, connected over a wired connection, so you don't need to install that. But if you are connecting through Bluetooth, you can go ahead and check that. Now everything is done, go ahead and exit. And we're going to check the SCP monitor. Now I double clicked it and it should show up in your system tray and click it once and it should show it is connected. If you haven't already plugged in your controller, go ahead and plug it in now. So it is connected through the first input. Now you can make sure it's working. Go ahead and check all the buttons and it should be good. And if you don't have Microsoft.NET Framework 4, um, it will prompt you to install it. Go ahead and install that, you will need that, and that's it. Thanks for watching.